Hello YouTube, it's Curly Guy here and I'm back with another video. I know I haven't made a video in forever, but I'm really trying to try out something new on my channel. Um, I want to start doing story time videos because on my Snapchat people always tell me how funny they are and how interesting they are and I just wanted to be able to make a longer video, you know, condensed so you don't have to like tap every 10 seconds or whatever. So yeah, um, and as you can see by the t um, title of this video, this is... Um, the time I caught my roommate with a guy when I was in college. It was so weird, guys. And I'm going to just, let me just get into it. So, my junior year, my second semester of my junior year of college. Oh, and yes, I did color my hair. And if you guys want to hear more about that, then just leave that in the description box. And I'll let you guys know what I did. Um, I'll make a video completely separate about that. But anyway, getting into this video. So, my second semester of my junior year with this uh, second semester that I had lived with this guy. And you know, I had picked up on cues about him, like little things that j didn't just add up. Like, and he swore out he was straight, but I was like, mm, yeah, I'm not too sure about that. Um, so long story short, one morning I got up, I think it was probably a Saturday, um, because I know I didn't have class. And um, I was gonna do laundry, okay? And I guess he was still asleep. I never pay attention to him. So, you know, it just didn't dawn on me to, like, pay any attention or let him know that I was leaving or anything. So, I left to go do laundry because I usually do laundry. I left my computer open because I was watching YouTube videos. I was obsessed with YouTube videos when I was in college, you guys. It was my life. Um, so, anyway, I went downstairs to do my laundry. So, and while I'm down there, I'm sitting in the laundry room because I didn't leave my clothes in college because people will steal your stuff. Like, we had this huge issue with that. So, I stayed down there and watched my stuff. And again, I would get on the YouTube on my phone, my earphones in or whatever. So, my clothes get dry and I'm going back upstairs, you know. Okay, mind you now, it takes like 45 minutes for the clothes to wash and it took like 30 minutes for them to dry. So, I don't know how long it took for this um, transaction to take place between the two of them, but I'm guessing he already had this planned out like, yo, when my roommate leave tomorrow, can come over and I'm guessing in hindsight looking back now I'm guessing he may have thought I had that band of clothes because I would go home on the weekend or go stay with some of my friends that didn't live where we lived so I guess in hindsight he may have thought I was leaving even though I left my computer open but looking back I guess when you're young and dumb like that you don't pay attention to anything you be so hype about doing what you're about to do mm -hmm, that you just don't pay attention to little details so anyway I come back upstairs. Now, mind you guys, it is absolutely potent for me to fold up my clothes and hang them up while they are still warm because I won't have to iron. As a college student, we don't have time to iron clothes. Like, they need to be ready to go. So, okay, let me give you a little bit of backstory. When you go in my, at that time, when you went in my suite, Okay, you walk in, and then over here is my door, and over there is the other people's door. I don't even know those weirdos. And um, then you walk in, okay, his bed is here, my bed is there, and our closets are here. Okay, I'm telling you this for a reason. So I walk in to the big door, and I had my earphones in, so I had no idea what was going on. I couldn't hear anything, but I know he had to hear that door slam. You guys, I'm sorry if I keep looking down. I have a mirror over there, and it's just... Anyway, uh, <laughs> so I know he had to hear the big door open, but he must not have thought it was me or he must have been so into what he was doing that he didn't pay attention. Um, so then I unlocked the door to go in our room and I hear him say, hold up, hold up, hold up. And I'm like, hold up. They don't love you like I love you. Slow down. But um, I'm like, hold up. Uh-uh. I need to get in here and fold up my clothes. Okay, now mind you, it was weird because he told me he didn't have any clothes on now. We had been living together for a while. So, you know, when you get to know people, you don't mind. You change in front of them and everything. So, I'm like, okay. I mean, what that mean? This is nothing new. Okay, what are you saying that for? So, I bulldoze into the room anyway because, mind you, my clothes are cooling down as we speak. So I get in there and I see somebody jet by me and I'm like, no, 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 no. 
So my mind instantly said, oh my God, he's sleeping with some chick, some random, um, while I was away. Okay, so I'm like, fine and cool. Okay, girl, get your stuff because you got to go because I need to fold my clothes. Okay, so again now, the closet doors are open. The guy at the time I thought was a girl was standing behind his closet door so I couldn't see what it was. Okay, so then I bulldozed past him and he like looking crazy like, like, I don't even know why he looking like this at this point. So I walked by and I look, because you know, it's natural instinct to look regardless of what I thought it was behind the door. And I was like, oh. Now you guys, this is what's going to set it all off. Not that it was a guy behind the door, which was shocking enough, but I knew the guy that was behind the door. This guy that was behind the door was supposed to be dating one of my friends. I don't think y'all heard me. This guy was supposed to be dating one of my friends. Female friends. So I'm all up in here. This is looking like an episode of Trapped in the Closet by R. Kelly. Mm, if you ain't a 90s child. I know it wasn't in the 90s, but if you wasn't born in the 90s, you probably don't remember it because you were a little too young. But anyway, um, I'm all caught up in the triangle. My roommate, my best friend, and her boyfriend. Now, let me let y'all know something. I didn't really know too much about her boyfriend. I mean, I knew him. I had hung around before. But I didn't know if he was bisexual or what the case was. But I found out. So, <laughs> then the guy is like, oh, hey. Mind you now, all the guy has on is like his shirt in his hand covering up his junk. Oh, hey. Oh, no. Nah, hell no. Nah. See, y'all done up and done it. I was like, what? What, what, what? what is going down in the DM? So, the guy hurry up and get dressed. I'm like, no, no, no. I don't want to know. I don't know. Because if you tell me, then I'm going to have more information that I have to tell her. Because you know my loyalty is with her, not you or my roommate. So, long story short, the guy leaves. Then he messages me on Facebook. Begging and pleading. Begging and pleading. Like, like Brandy in her new song. Begging and pleading me not to say anything. So, I give his message dust, okay? I didn't even pay it to mine, didn't respond, and I know he saw that I seen it. Meanwhile, my roommate tells me, he comes in the room, like, because after the guy left, he left out behind the guy with just his underwear on. And I'm like, okay, it's one thing for me to see you, but now everybody in the hall going to be like, what's going down? Um, so he comes back in the room, and he's like, oh, well, that was awkward. And I was like... <laughs> I'm like, first of all, I can't even begin to explain. Okay, it's yes, that was awkward, but I didn't even know that you was by or on the down low or whatever, low down, whatever. And he was low down because he's supposed to be what? The drama, the drama, you guys. So we proceed to talk about this for like two more minutes because. I'm rapidly trying to fold my clothes while they want Y'all don't understand the struggle of clothes cooling down. So I'm trying to fold my clothes, and I'm giving what he's saying dust, basically, because, okay, you call, we can discuss it at a later date. But unless you're trying to help me fold these clothes after you wash your hands, then you need to get out my face. Um, and, and that was just the drama, you guys. I caught him, and then he discussed it with me, and he, of course, did the same thing. Didn't want nobody to know, because he was really popular. Like, a lot of people knew him. Um, yeah. So that was the time I caught my roommate with a guy that I knew. And that I didn't know anything about his situation or my roommate's situation. But, um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have plenty more videos like this. But you guys have to comment down below and let me know if you enjoyed this kind of video. This kind of story time video. And also, let me know what you guys want to see as it pertains to my hair. I know this is a little bit newer for you guys. And it looks a little different. So, just let me know if you want to see anything about that. Um... And what other kind of hair related videos or whatever you guys want to see. And I'll try to get to that. I have a lot more time now on my hands. Um, this is a really good time for recording. So you guys just let me know and I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to comment and like, subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, so I'll see you in the next one guys. Bye.